We're just 90 days away from November 3rd, and a lot of counties say they still don't have guidance on how to keep the process safe amidst this pandemic. Our Kayla Sullivan explains what we know so far. Indiana counties are tasked to host one of the biggest elections during a historic pandemic. However, they've yet to get guidance on how. Counties need that direction. They've got to be compliant with state law, and they're going to look for that guidance on counties making special provisions. So far, there is an interest in allowing another no-fault absentee ballot election. Governor Eric Holcomb confirmed that during his weekly press conference. He wants an efficient and timely election. We call it election day, not election month, and, and I hope... Uh, as we work on this front, uh, that we'll get that right going into November 3rd, and we will. It's true. More absentee ballots can delay results. We saw that in the primary. That's why advocates of no-fault absentee voting say the state needs to invest in resources. That's how most states are conducting this election. Indiana is one of seven not allowing no-fault absentee voting, so national results will be delayed regardless. I think people understand that there's, with increased volume with mail-in ballots, you're going to have that, and so people, I think, are willing to accommodate that. But what about masks? Will they be required for voters and poll workers in November? And what does Governor Eric Holcomb say to voters who are at risk for COVID-19? Yeah, there's a mask requirement, and Indiana will have a... Uh, safe and secure and healthy uh, in-person election on November 3rd. Holcomb says he's waiting on clarity from a federal judge on whether people at high risk for COVID-19 can legally vote absentee in Indiana. Kayla Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Well, thanks. Meantime, the Democratic candidate for governor reacting to Governor Holcomb's stance on mail-in voting tonight. He says, quote, denying Hoosiers the right to vote in a safe manner is simply without moral or scientific compass. We'll have much more on the elections and from our Indiana lawmakers coming up on this week's edition of In Focus. It airs Sunday morning at 9.30 right here on Fox 59.